Hello everybody, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. My name's Owen. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, I was out of town traveling uh, for my birthday last week, so I wasn't able to put a video up, but uh, an absurd amount of stuff happened the week before. Basically, uh, the things finally came to a head with the quote-unquote fake Reiko. Uh, we found out that it was some sort of artificial intelligence that believed itself to be real. And so we were kind of grappling with the fact or with the idea, does that make this a person? Um, you know, the, this is a being that believes itself to be real and seems to think freely and feel emotions and, and all of that. And while we were kind of debating and and sort of pushing uh, this Reiko closer and closer to like the edge to fall down and save Gin. Neo kind of jumped in at the last second to 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 do that final push. Um, we haven't had a chance to really talk with her about that very much yet. Um, and after that, there was the whole thing where Alice thought that the real Reiko had died because uh, Ranger had sort of deceived him and then and then ended up killing him and then it turns out that the prize exchange doll was somehow like in the in command of the other dolls and killed ranger and uh, that's kind of where we're at um so yeah and it, it, a crazy amount of stuff's happening kind of hard to keep track but i think that sums up pretty well oh and then also perhaps uh the Prize Exchange doll is somehow related to Kai, because um, I believe they said their last name was Sato, right? Um, anyway, yeah, let's continue. Let's 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 continue with this. Leave this to me, Sarah. Nea's looking very dependable. I. Reiko. The torso of Rio Ranger. Because of Ranger, Alice and the fake Reiko both. He was a doll, just like the fake Reiko. Joe's hair clip remains in his hair. Uh, this is going to kind of push us, I think, closer to the edge, but I kind of feel like we should take it, you know, to have it as sort of like a keepsake. I do. Je I do definitely think this is going to hurt us in the long run. But I also feel like it's an important thing for Sarah to have. So we're going to take it. Give it back. This is Joe's. Obtain Joe's hair clip. Oh, OK, so it didn't hurt us too bad. OK. Uh, so let's go to the long stairs. What was this again? Oh, OK, yeah, this is the list of all of the uh, different characters and their professions or like what they do. Um, there are definitely names here that we don't recognize though. Okay. So yeah, this just lets us look through all of them. Let's go to the Room of Lies maybe? Oh, that's where we just were, just kidding. Uh, to the lobby. I'll go to the medical office. Everyone should be waiting there. Right, because we're just getting the antidote for Gin. Okay, geez, a lot going on here. Kutaro, what's going on? Kutaro is chatting happily with Gin and Keiji. It's hard to imagine the main game is approaching. That's right, we have to deal with that now, too. Oh. Big sis Sarah! Gin! You're up and moving already? Yeah! I'm totally better, woof. Poison won't scare me anymore, meow. Guess the antidote Keiji bought worked like a charm. Don't see no weird after effects, neither. Good showing for from your friendly neighborhood policeman, huh? It really was a close call. If Keiji hadn't found the antidote, Gin might have... Keiji. Thank you very much. Same to you. Your reasoning saved us, Sarah. Not to mention your decisiveness in that moment. You and Neo are really something. 
I allowed the fake Reiko to die. And also, even Alice. Look at me, Sarah. We've lost a lot of allies on the way here. Alice, he might have looked like trouble at first, but I don't think he was a bad guy. But see, Sarah, you've got the lives you saved right here. Isn't that right? <laughs> Our salvation. Gin's smile is helping to save us all. If we lost him too, I'm sure we'd... Gin! Thank goodness you've gotten all better! Big Sis Neo! Whoa. No makeup. Uh... But... Big Sis Reiko? I'm glad, Gin. Reiko gently stroked Gin's head. Y yeah. Big Sis Reiko, I... <laughs> what are you crying for? You're a big kid. Sorry, Meow. I couldn't do anything. So... Alice. Ain't nothing for you to apologize about, Gin. But. They sure scared you, huh, Gin? Sorry the real me couldn't be there when you were in a pinch. Meow. Big sis Reiko. So, all of you have assembled? I will now begin explanations for the second main game. Mr. Gin Ibushi, how are you faring? There he is, meow. Uncle Crabstash. Uncle Crabstash? You think we're just gonna sit here and listen to your damn explanation? You guys are always pulling tricks. I won't trust you. Woof. Hmm. What the heck, woof? Don't you come any closer, meow. Fantastic. Yeah? Just amazing, Mr. Guinea Bushi. Astonishing resilience. Why, you're the picture of health already. And Uncle Crabstash. It's an honor to receive such a charming nickname. You screwing with us now? Fantastic. Simply fantastic. I... I feel sick. Yeah. Oh dear, so there is yet some venom left. It's not that, woof. Um, when are you gonna get to the explanation? Pardon me. Well then, I shall explain this main game. That said, the basic rules are the same. It's a voting game, making use of our four cards. The Keymaster, Sage, Sacrifice, and Commoner. The Keymaster is the Keyman of Destruction. Should they be chosen, the one who carries it bears great responsibility, but it also serves as armor. The Sage is a superhuman who knows the one in possession of the Keymaster role, but once exposed, it is hard to protect oneself. The Sacrifice will die unless chosen. They are the sole person who can turn, to de who can turn defeat into victory, or victory into defeat. And the commoners have no power at all, but thus they fill the role of guiding the discussion in the proper direction. However, this time we will use data in place of proper cards, of paper cards. D data Card data has already been distributed at random to the voting tablets you possess. All that remains is the permission to access it. Why'd you have to make it so roundabout? Very sharp indeed, Mr. Kutaro. Because this time, you're able to make trades. And forcibly, at that. We can trade our cards? Indeed. Now then, let me show you. Come forth, ring up box. A phone booth came from the floor. 
You may trade cards by making a request at one of these ring-up boxes situated in each room. They are simple to use. Simply insert 50 tokens and grab the receiver. F 50 tokens? Of course, just like the sub-game, you cannot use your own tokens. What a ridiculous rule! Oh, and I thought you would be delighted, Mr. Kutaro. That's an awful rule. People without tokens don't even get the right to trade. Trades are one-on-one -on -one with who you select. Please trade freely with whomever you wish. You have a time limit of approximately three hours. When all have returned to their bedrooms, that will signal the start of the trading phase. The start of this trading phase. Do not wear such gloomy looks, everyone. Win and survive, for you will uh, you were all born to win. What is he talking about? So then, please return to your rooms within five minutes. If you do not, you understand, don't you? The atmosphere is unpleasant. We look at each other's faces and try to judge how we're feeling. What should I say? Um... Let's go to our rooms for now. No, that feels too eager. We'll definitely escape. I like this better. We'll escape for sure. Sarah! It's not, it's not like we're out of time. There must be something we can do. That might sound flimsy, but I'm not giving up. You said it, Sarah! I mean, it ain't like everything's going hunky-dory for them, either. The guy with the stash shooting Ranger must have been unexpected too, right? Huh? What, I said something weird? Yeah, you weren't there for that, were you? No, you're exactly right. Unexpected. If we look for things our enemy didn't expect, there's sure to be a way out of this. Huh. Okay, I mean, I suppose it's possible that someone told him, right? Although, no, like, we came directly from that group of people. That, so, like, only the people who are in the Room of Lies at the beginning of our, like, video today are the people that know Rio Ranger's dead at all, let alone it was the uh, uh, other doll that killed him, right? So it is weird that Kutaro knows this. Hmm, interesting. Then I'll head back first. Don't want to get killed for being tardy. Let's get going, guys. Yeah, true. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's move. Everyone's heading off to their bedrooms. Glancing at each other's faces and seeing looks of anxiety mixed with trust. Big sis Sarah? Hmm, what is it, Gin? I hid it, because the suspicious loner was there. But I might have found a way out, woof. Huh? I don't want to trouble you guys anymore, meow. So, I'll do my best. Woof. Uh, Gin? I feel so uneasy. Is everything going to be okay? Yeah. Alright. Interesting. So, oh, wait, hold on. That's interesting that there's, like, a cavity here for the phone booth thing, because wasn't this where we saw the Joe hallucination originally? Also, our Joe hallucination gauge is gone, which is weird. Whew. A ring-up box has appeared in the back of my room. It's quiet. Here in my room, I'm all alone. Huh? My hands are shaking. This... Back there, I tried to cheer everyone up so they wouldn't be uneasy. I told myself I couldn't give in around them. But when I'm alone, I'm so cowardly. No, no, I can't get timid. Oh, is this someone trying to trade with us? 
What the? Suddenly, the tablet began making a sound. Could this sound mean... It's begun? The trading phase of the main game will now begin. Now accessing your roll card. What do we think we're going to be? I bet we're going to be a commoner here. Um, just because the doll earlier said something about their role is to guide the conversation, and obviously that's what we do as a player, right? A faithful moment. Or we're going to be the... Uh, was it the prophet or the seer or the mystic or whatever? That knows, because that's the most difficult position to survive, I guess. My heartbeat is loud and out of control. Subconsciously, I was praying. Don't do it. Anything but the one that killed Joe. Commoner. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. C commoner? I see. Ah. Before I knew it, I dropped to the floor. Relief. I stayed there motionless for a few minutes. Think. Hey, Sarah. Is that Keiji or is that Neo? The voice I just used sounded more like Keiji, so let's go with Keiji. Um, is that you, Keiji? Yep. Could you open up? Can we talk in there? Should I open the door and invite him in? Huh, let's see. Open the door and invite in. Don't open in chat. Silently ignore him. Ask him for a password. Is this like make him prove that it is him who's talking to us? Why would we... What's what's to fear here, right? I don't think anything at the moment. Obviously, we're suspicious of Keiji because we know we saw that video of Keiji allowing someone to die. Let's invite him in. I'll open it now. Thanks. What exactly do you want? I'll get straight to the point, Sarah. Sarah, you're... The sacrifice, right? Huh. <laughs> That's one obvious reaction, Sarah. Shoot, I made a weird sound. Ah, thank goodness. If you really were the sacrifice, I'd have been pretty worried. I've, I haven't confirmed anything yet. You make it obvious, but you won't confess. Sure enough, you're clever. But you're still a bad liar, huh? Ah. Whew. Well, I'm the key master. Not gonna trust my word, though, are you? Excuse me for a second. Huh? Keiji slipped by me into the phone booth. What are you doing? Presenting proof, I guess? Keiji went on inserting token, inserting token after token. Ahoy hoy. Don't tell me. The tablet again. Oh, so you just, wait. Keiji, what are you doing, man? The first trade has just been performed. A trade? Huh, so you were a commoner, Sarah. Did you... did you just trade your keymaster for my commoner? That proves it to you, right? Your friendly policeman's the key... What were you thinking? Uh... That was a valuable chance for a trade. Why did you go and waste it on this? Uh... You're mad at me. I'm not mad. Just... Wanted you to trust me. We've only got three hours. No time to waste suspecting each other over rules. Because we're going to make our escape. I understand. You must have an idea. Tell it to me. 
Right. Dude, why did why'd you give me the key master for it? Like, I get it, but, like, also, you should have asked me. Say, Sarah, what sort of methods could we escape by, you think? Methods? Secretly look for an exit, defeat our enemy and leave. Destroy the death game. <sighs> so this whole place, right, has been about puzzles. And so I feel like the only way we'll be allowed to leave is by solving the death game and thereby destroying the death game. Right. But I also feel like that would defeat our enemies and allow us to leave. But I feel like this is going more for like. Physically defeat them like revolt and attack them, which I think is a bad idea. Um, secretly look for an exit is a good idea. And Gin thinks he found one, right? So secretly look for an exit. We could search for an exit without letting the kidnappers find us out. Find us out. That's true. Maybe we can avoid the watchful eye of the floor masters. Sure enough, the thing we need is information. Where is this place? What sort of building is it? If we just had a floor map, at least, we'd have half a chance. A floor map? Which of us would know about something like that? Huh? Wait, is there someone? Um... Kai would know. Yeah, because Kai is... familiar, at least, with the situation more so than the rest of us. Kai, of course. Exactly. Way to go, Sarah. Kai was connected with the baddies. Even if he didn't know the details of the death game, he might have known something about this facility. But Kai's gone now. So then... So then, the laptop he left behind? Yep, there's still info we haven't checked on that laptop. Kutaro got his hands on it once, but it ran out of battery. And now it's back in So's hands. It'll be hard to get back. And that brings us to... You remember the place we found it? That room full of rubble? Well, I did a little detectiving there. You got a sec, Sarah? Yeah, I mean, we're talking, dude. What is it? Keiji whispered in my ear. Kai came to that room. What? Now, let's move. There's no time. Hold on, Keiji. Kai was in that room? But before we even came to the third floor, Kai was already... Interesting. Okay. Before we go, can we do anything with this? Uh, so there's one in every bedroom. All right, we cannot do anything with that. Uh, although, actually, before we do that, I just want to save real quick. Okay. Oh, what's up, Nao? Is that Nao? Sarah? What's the matter? Oh, I just figured I shouldn't be sitting still. I thought I should be thinking about a way for us to escape, too. I'll tell you right away if I find anything, Sarah. Strange. Huh? Maybe I'll lend you my aid, Sarah. Your aid? You can now use Keiji's partner ability. My detective sight should be at least a little useful. Touch the icon to activate your partner's ability. <laughs> Look at this face, that's really funny. Uh, I'll tell you right away if I find anything, Sarah. Um, is something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. Uh, uh, I'll be going then. So maybe that was to tell us her heartbeat was even, right? She probably wasn't lying. What was that sensation? Hmm. 
Did you just see something too, Sarah? Huh? <laughs> you had the same eyes as me. The eyes of a shrewd detective who never overlooks the heart's unrest. You sense something shady about Neo. Must be the result of spending days with her. You mean, Neo is hiding something? Dunno. Unfortunately, we don't exactly have time to confirm that right now. Let's do what we have to. There's only ever one option to take. Neo. So, the Room of Rubble is past the Ruined Corridor. Let's go. Okay. Can we go anywhere right now? Can we go to the medical office if we wanted? Yes, we can. I guess let's just take a look at everywhere else first. I don't think there's gonna be anything in the bedroom, no. Relaxation room. Kutaro's here. Also, I guess Keiji's still with us. Kutaro is sitting silently. Now, what am I gonna do? Feels like he's breathing a little easy. What are you doing now? Oh, Sarah, I was thinking this ain't... This is exactly the sort of time... This is exactly the sort of time to leisurely think about clues for escape. But I'm having a humdinger of a time on account of finding that... Of, on the count of finding Diddly Squad. Uh, um... I'm saying I haven't found anything. Well... But I guess there's one thing. Kai's laptop. It's pretty much all I got. Would be nice to persuade so, but he ain't leaving his room. And Kana's with him too. Hope he doesn't use it for nothing evil. Okay. Can we Keiji vision? I sense impatience from Kutaro. Maybe the reason he's not entirely at wit's end because he's got a lot of tokens. Interesting. Okay. Uh, monitor room? Ah, Reiko. One of numerous monitors. A photo of me is displayed on the back. Interesting. Reiko is gazing at the monitors. AIs, huh? There's one here. One of him. She must mean Alice. Do you want to meet him? You want to meet him? No. A machine's just a machine. The real him is still in the room of lies. Reiko's keeping it all inside. Probably, probably better that I don't see any AI. Cause I'm not as strong as Neo. Damn. I feel a strength and a sorrow from Reiko. You think you could give her a hug, Sarah? Yeah, I, can I? Wait, hold on. Cancel. Alright, I can't give you a hug, but just know, Reiko, that I would. Ah, you. I'm terribly sorry. You may not use the prize exchange anymore. I'm cleaning up the prizes, so apologies if it gets dusty. Can I interrogate you? I can't tell anything about Gashi's heart. Since I've hardly even talked to him. The, the time you spend together is important for this. Okay, so we don't know him well enough to... Uh, also, this is interesting. Um, okay. Long stairs. Room of lies. What are you doing here, Neo? Neo is staring directly at Alice's body. She doesn't seem to notice us at all. Sure enough, she's acting strange. I think the guilt for what she did to fake Reiko is getting to her. Sarah, not right now. Ah. <sighs> Can we just bring her with us? All right, so now we're going to the ruined corridor. Oh, there's a phone here. Room of rubble. 
Again? Sarah, hide. Huh? Looks like we're not alone. I can hear rummaging sounds in the pitch dark room. That's... Gin? Watch things unfold. What in the world is he doing? This is it, Meow. A passage appeared. See? I can! Not good. He's going in alone. Uh, let's stop Gin. There might be danger. Let's go stop Gin. Right. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. You prepared? Yeah. Okie dokie. But promise me one thing. On the off chance that there's something dangerous waiting up ahead, you'll be able to run away, even if it means going alone, won't you? Yes. And you too, Keiji. <laughs> Roger that. Yeah, you're not gonna... You're See, you just lied, Keiji, so I don't feel bad that we just lied, because I'm not doing that. The passage is lit by a dim light and gently slopes downward. The further we advance, the steeper the slope gets. Careful not to slip. It, yeah. Gin, how far did you go? Hmm? It's a dead end. Uh, Keiji, isn't this... There's a hole like a trash chute in the floor. Gin must be through here. Let's drop down. Oh, we're in the kitchen. What room is this? Huh? It seems somehow familiar. Yeah, it's the kitchen. Uh, can we talk to you? Well now, I remember coming here. If I, if I remember right. Yep. This is the first floor kitchen. The place where Nao was hiding out and holding Professor Mishima's head. Oh, also interesting. So we went really far forward and up right? Sloping upward, and then dropped down. Which makes it seem more like this would be on the same level as where we are on the third floor. It's pitch black. Was Nao sitting in the dark like this too? All alone? Talking to M Mishima's head? Nao was despairing. And Kai used that despair take the laptop from so. Amazing how she re could recover from that. We're all, we're all getting stronger, bit by bit. Yeah, but at the same time... No, forget it. Hold on a second. Did no one notice this secret passage? Maybe... Kai? Maybe Kai, because we know Kai was able to get to the third floor before anyone else. I wonder if Kai noticed the secret passage. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. Huh? Whether he knew it from the start or only noticed while searching, I don't know. But I'm thinking that's the fundamental reason the laptop ended up in the Room of Rubble. Kai came to the third floor and placed the laptop there. He's right. It's possible. <laughs> that convinced me, personally. Alright, let's go look for Gin. Yeah. Do anything? Uh, that's where we came from. Interesting. To think it would connect here. Okay. Okay, nothing around here. Back of cafeteria? Hidden room? Oh, there's something here. Oh, I should have been doing this for even the empty rooms. I wasn't thinking about that. There's something on the bookshelf. Obtained victim disc F. Okay. There's small writing under the doorknob. Input the number of kiddos who can't drink. Right. 
Uh, that's written in the bar. I remember that. I don't remember the answer off the top of my head. Um, I'm assuming it's locked. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, this door. Was it always locked? No. Taking a closer look at the doorknob, I found a dial lock on the side. Looks like you have to set it to a number, one through nine. Uh, alright, can we, let's see if we can remember off the top of our head who can drink and who can't. I feel like, I think Reiko could, Alice could. So we're, alright, uh, just counting people who can't. Gin, obviously. I can't remember if Joe could, but we were in high school, so I'll guess no. Sarah, no. Neo, no. Gin, Joe, Sarah, Neo. Um, Kana. So could. Keiji could. Reiko could. Alice could. Um, uh, who am I forgetting? Anybody? Let's try five. Attempt the dialogue. I can just try every possibility and have solved it in nine tries. Hold on, Sarah. There are little holes on the knob. Holes? It might pop out poison needles. And I can't get this wrong. Sure there's no hint somewhere in this room? You should know what's up before you try. Even though it's... Even though it was open the first time. Okay. So let's not do that then, I guess. Although I think the answer is five. So we can't go to the pink room, right? Yeah, okay. Um... Cafeteria? Central Hall. Bar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. KG, help me. Yeah, thank you, KG. It appears to be a blackboard. There's a list of names. Can drink. Alice, Kai, Kazumi. KG, Shunis Shunsuke, So. Neo, Mai, Megumi, Reiko, Kutaro. Okay, so can't drink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Also, Neo was not the first name. Naomichi is not Neo. Interesting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And of these, the people we know is... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I was right. Could these be the names of all the participants in the death game? Huh. Now that I was able to think about it, this could be pretty important info. I want to commit it to memory. Yeah, but bet there are people waiting for him to come back. Right. This isn't just our tragedy. Well, at any rate, we should be able to open the pink to pink room door with this info. Don't know if Gin's there, but wanna go check? Do we click on this? No, I don't think we do. Joe's gone. Nothing entertaining the hallucinations or whatever decoys are here is not going to change that. I'm going to regret that, I'm sure. Game room. Red, blue room. There's another Joe. Red room. Okay, can't be opened. Uh, okay, let's go back to the central hall then. Second floor back hallway. Oh wow, okay. So it's it's gonna let us go pretty much wherever we want. Uh black room. Empty shredder. Oh, we should also be doing this. I can faintly make out some erased words. On yourself. Abandon Aban A B Yourself. on yourself something on yourself a b a n n a b a n d 
It can't be abandoned. Uh, it's not. It's not coming to me. This also could be multiple words, I suppose. Uh, on yourself. Something. Something. I don't know. And something on yourself. Okay. We'll keep thinking about that. God, I keep thinking about going back and, and looking at the Joes, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, back of the cafeteria. Oh, wait, hold on. Cancel. Attempt to dial the lock. Five? Ooh, or nine. Shit. There's nine people on the chalkboard. We know five of them. What's the hint again? I want to check the hint one more time. Input the number of kiddos who can't drink. So I feel like that would be the full list, right? I think. Attempt the dialogue. So I feel like it's nine, but I could also see why it could be five. Let's try nine. The handle turns with a click and the door opens. Looks like that was right. Way to go, Sarah. Now we can enter the pink room. Uh, Gin's not here. A heart-shaped vent. The door's open. It's big enough for a person to fit into. Hmm. It's pitch black through there. It might lead somewhere else entirely. What should I do? I mean, we gotta go. Even though in the dangers, huh? Let's go. Okay, so that's Miley. I've never seen this room before. Watch your step. Okay. Detective mode doesn't do anything. There are things on the desk. It's too dark to see anything. There's something here. It's almost like a person. A person? Just as Keiji reached out his hand. Huh? The lights! Is that an IV bag back here? This is... Miley. Keiji, get away! No. Not alive, is it? Huh? What does he mean? It's just a powerless doll, not moving an inch. You mean... She's not the real one, or she's out of power. She's out of power? Did Miley run out of power and stop moving? No, I don't mean that. This is the Miley we first met. First? After the eleven of us came together. Our first mission was to search for the scattered body parts of Miley's body, wasn't it? Oh, that's right! That was so long ago now. Come to think of it, we searched for the parts that assembled her. And after a white gas filled the room, Miley suddenly started to move. Right, so she was swapped out. A white gas? That's, that's right. The room that was filled with gas is connected to this room by the ventilation. That's when the human Miley, that's when the human Miley swapped herself in. Right, because they're not really dolls. Because Kai hit Miley in the head and she bled. So the real Miley is separate from this doll. Which also would mean Rio Ranger is not the one who died. If you retrace your memories, you should realize it. Dolls don't bleed. Ranger, the doll, proved this fact with his body. Right! Okay, yeah! Okay, so actually maybe Ranger is the doll and then... Alright, well, I'm not sure about that. Miley bled when Kai attacked her. All starting to line up, isn't it? Bet this room still hides interesting truths. 
Let's keep searching. I wonder if Miley is still on this floor somewhere. Okay. I think we're going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. I am so glad to be back. Um, I was genuinely looking forward to recording this episode all week. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad that I'm, I'm finally back and we're, we're moving forward with the game because that was an unbelievable amount of of stuff <laughs> that happened last episode and I feel like things are really and I feel like a couple of people said this in the comments that things are kind of about to start blowing open a little bit like we're gonna I, and to me that means we're gonna start figuring some stuff out um, anyway yeah thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one